cherries are finally arriving at the local fruit stands and markets. A tough spring full of rain and cool temperatures delayed the Okanagan cherry season this year. Definitely the, the cool wet spring, the residual La Nina effect did have uh, a, a, an effect on, on the uh, timing of the crops this year. But now with the hot, hot weather, uh, what's going to happen is uh, there's been some early varieties already started, they started harvesting in the south end of the valley. And so, uh, you know, those earlier variety cherries are, are starting to come on stream and, and consumers should be able to find some in the grocery store not, not too distant future. But local markets say the lack of cherries isn't slowing down business and that they're prepared for a busy summer. So far, it's been a strong season. Uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, tourism this year. Um, I think the, the fruit being late has been a bit of a, a surprise to a lot of the tourists, and it's created a, a few issues. But um, I think so far, it's been a strong season. Yeah. Uh, lack of uh, local fruit and vegetables is, uh, is always a bit of a worry, but we'll be catching up, I think, with the summer weather. According to fruit growers, with all the sunshine in the forecast, things will be shaping up soon. And certainly, uh, there are consumers that just can't wait to, to have some cherries, but I hope that uh, once the BC cherries are available, they'll think of, buy, of buying BC and buying local and buying that uh, sweet fruit uh, uh, that uh, the Valley is famous for. As long as we can all wait a few more weeks and the weather holds on too, we'll have a great cherry season ahead of us, along with a few other Okanagan fruits in store. Jen Zielinski in Summerland for Castanet News.